week's Parsha, we learn about the birth of the sons of Yaakov, the sons of Jacob, who emerged to be the 12 tribes of Israel. Among them, we learn about Yehuda, Judah, who was born as the fourth son of Yaakov and Leah. And indeed, we as a people have adopted that name. We as a people are called Yehudim. Yehudim after Yehuda, Judah, who was born to be the fourth son of Yaakov and Leah. And uh, we must ask ourselves, what was it particularly about Yehuda that we as a nation have taken on his name rather than any other of the twelve tribes? We must go back to understanding why Yehuda was named Yehuda or Judah. What the Torah tells us when he was born, his mom Leah said, Hapam Oda Es Hashem, this time I will thank God. The name Yehuda is synonymous with gratitude. Yehuda means I will thank God. We as a people, we must recognize that concept. We must always be in the mode of being grateful, means being grateful to God, our family and friends. That is a fundamental core of who we are as a people. And for that reason, precisely, we are called Yehudim. We are called Jews. Yehudim after Yehuda, which represents this quality of gratitude. You know, this week, Americans celebrate the holiday of Thanksgiving. This is the time that people reflect and give gratitude for the blessings in their lives. And it's important to remember one other thing about gratitude. We cannot take for granted the blessings we have in our life. And we always must go ahead and express that gratitude to God, to our family and friends around us. But there's one other thing I think it's very important to mention this particular week about the concept of gratitude, and that is what's going on in Israel. The situation which is very painful to hear the citizens of Israel being bombarded, the rocket attacks, suicide bombings, and all sorts of atrocities. And we must remember what God tells us in this week's Parsha. That God told Yaakov, Jacob, that the land of Israel is a gift to the Jewish people. And was, as with all gifts, we cannot take that for granted. We must appreciate the gift. We must work hard and understand that we must be worthy of this gift. So as we hear the difficult news coming out of Israel, let us take a moment to do whatever we can to show our appreciation for the gift of Israel. Let's go ahead and do that by engaging in extra prayer, tefillah, or by going ahead and supporting uh, diplomatic efforts for Israel, like calling uh, an elected official and encouraging them to uh, be supportive of Israel. Whatever one can do, one, we must not just sit back and be complacent. We must go ahead and realize that Israel is a precious gift. And we must be grateful for it and not assume that it's just here and we don't have to do anything about that. Let us not be complacent about that special gift of Israel. Folks, as Americans sit down to Thanksgiving, let us remember all the blessings we have in our life and all that's provided to us by God, our family and friends. And let us remember to be grateful for everything for the land of Israel as well. And we will be better off for that. Have a wonderful show.